So one of the questions that comes up a lot, and, and there's a lot of confusion with, is so if, what's the difference between impact and strength? So I went to some tables and I said, you know, is sandalwood, does it have a lower impact? Yeah? yeah? But, so but no, but it's stronger. So it's a combination of the two. Strength is a combination of the impact times the odor life I haven't finished the formula yet, no. but <clears throat> so if we if we think about um, linalol, yeah, has an impact of 100 and has an odor life of four hours. I'm going to give you, yeah. What that tells us that this area under the graph is how many odor units there are, yeah? But because it's a triangle for mathematics, it doesn't make a lot of difference to us, but we just divide it by two, yeah? So strength of a material is its impact times its odor life divided by two. So that would be 200, yeah? So we have 200, you could call them odor units, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a mathematical thing. It's because if we, if we don't divide by two, it's a square. We divide it by two because of the, the triangle, yeah. And they call this the integral of the graph, yeah, of the slope. The integral, yeah. Don't know if you remember that, it's just. <laughs> so strength, strength is more, is, is more to do with ODE, yeah, the ODE units, yeah. So you'd say for Z4 Lenor has a strength ODE unit of? Of 200, yeah. So if I give you some more values, so linalol has an impact of 600, but has an odor life of four hours. Hours. PEA, again, we don't have enough time to sit here and wait for it, is about 24 hours. This 3 hexanol has a, a life of about 0.5 hours. I saw amyl acetate was 0.1. And sandalwood. I tried, I tried this um, 40 years ago with sandalwood to find out how long it lasts on the smelling strip, and I gave up after six months. So, <laughs> so we could assume that it's something like, if, if you just say it as 1,000 hours. Yeah. So how many odor units have we got? Linalol? Hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we've got 100 times 4 divided by 2, 200. Phenol ethyl alcohol, 60 by 720. Is that divided by 2 already? Wow. 
No calculator. <laughs> 350? 175 because of divided by 2. Sandalwood? 5,000, 12,500. And isoamyl acetate? 40. There's an interesting correlation here. And which do you think is the cheapest material there? Isoamyl acetate. Which do you think is the most expensive? Sandalwood oil. So there is, there is some sort of correlation between how many odor units a material has yeah, and its perceived value as a raw material. Yeah, how it affects it and yeah. yeah. The, sand, the, the only, I mean, I, I've, I've told you about this system, but um, it, unfortunately this touches on an area which I'm, that's negative partly, because what this leads to is that ma increasingly materials are dropped because their bang for the bucks is too low, so we lose like diversity in the materials available because people use these bean counter methods of determining the value of materials. Yeah? So I've told you that, <laughs> yeah? but try not to use it too much yeah? in terms of value of materials. But you'll understand why some materials are very, very expensive yeah? and their value is, a, is appreciated. Yes, yeah, yeah. But the danger is it becomes like a, a weapon for the bean counters in the company to, uh, you know, Cut out tuberose, cut out, yeah. Just, just too expensive. Yes, yeah. Uh, and so if, if a material is too difficult to make, low yield, and has a low odor unit value, it will never hit the market. Yeah. Uh, unless somebody does it like as a private project because they love it. So because it has high odor units of the sandalwood, yes. does that make it more difficult to synthesize? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, no, that, that, yeah, there's not, there's not really. Is there a correlation? I, I actually don't know. I don't know. I have to think about that. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously nature. But it's pretty amazing so, complex. Yeah, so, something that's natural generally is more difficult to synthesize, particularly things like wood oils because they have uh, a group of chemicals called sesquiterpenes, which are very complex because they're large molecules. They have too many like bends and twists in them, and, uh, and to synthesize them is is uh, not easy. <laughs>